Hi everyone, thanks for stopping back by today to see what I am up to. And today I have, I'm trying to cover this up, my Stitch Fix. Oh, this box is heavy, but small. And this is, I'm trying to think, I always get these numbers wrong, so I'm not even going to tell you what fix it is until I can quickly look at the receipt. So I just slit the tape open and on the inside of the box, I'm just going to flip this around. It does tell you what to do next, if you're not sure. So let's open this up. Stitch Fix um, is a styling service, a fashion styling service. You get a return envelope, and this is USPS, to return anything in, in the box that you are not keeping. If you're going to keep everything, then that you can just dispose of that. And I have... Um, just a little note there um stitch fix it does have women's men's and kids boxes there is a 20 dollars styling fee um at some point you you will be offered a style pass you pay 49 dollars. it's good for one year and then you don't pay the 20 dollars styling fee each box that you get so there are advantages and disadvantages you don't have a 20 dollar credit every month but um it's better than paying 20 dollars a box because you can get these every two weeks three weeks or monthly you can do every other month you can you know you don't have to get one every month you can spread it out if you ever need more time with a box this is only three days from the day you receive it to decide what you love what you don't what you're sending back um you just email them and, and ask them for more time i have never had a problem with any of my boxes that i needed you know an extra day or two to get to the post office especially these uh days you know, if I was just at the post office, I don't want to go back. So I might want to wait a few days just to, you know, space it out. They are more than willing to accommodate. Um, you keep all five items. You get a 25% discount. You do check out online. Leave them some feedback if you don't like an item or if something didn't fit right. Maybe they can um, find something similar in your next box and have it fit properly. Uh, you know, leave notes for your stylist and um i think that's about it you get an envelope and in the envelope which we will look at this later you get a bill an invoice and i'm only just going to quick peek and this is style 18 fix 18 for me so i usually do pricing when i do the try on let's put that over here and then you get a little style card that says oh hello and i'll show it to you i have a style note and then the items in the center of the picture are the items that will be in your box. You get five items. So we'll close that up. I read my style note off camera. I'm not going to bore you with that. And by reading your style note first, it lets you know what's in my bundle and it lets me know what's in here before I even see it. So to me, that takes away any, um, any real surprise. So this is my bundle. It looks like I have shoes down there also. Maybe we get a better look at it this way. So that's that. And then I have a pair of shoes. So every once in a while you get these bags or you get the other bags. This, these are cute. So let's do the, shoe, uh, the shoes last and let's do the clothes first because this is always the most exciting for me. And I'll be right back. I just realized I was wondering why it was so dark coming from my right hand side. I had my one light off because um, I was recharging my camera and it... Uh, um, I was like, why does it feel so dark in here? Because I have a light coming from both sides. I didn't have the light on. So rather than do this with my right side being slightly darker, I figured let me just pause and correct the issue. So I'm just going to open the bundle right now. And let's take the, pull the paper back. And hopefully that be enough for the crinkling. The very first item that I see is a top which I know I am not going to like because I don't like these kinds of tops uh, fortune and ivy and this is um, Marciana lattice back detail knit top light pink this is a large so the material is stiff and heavy and here's there's some nice ruching on the sleeve here and this is a weird color pink it's not like pink pink it's like a, it has that like that gray pink it has some ruching down the sleeve so this is probably three quarter for me it might be full length you can see it's a scoop in the front here's your lattice detail in the back 
And what I don't like is the bottom. The banded bottom, I don't think I'm gonna like. There is some ruching on the side. And this is like two layers of material. Yeah, I, I, I doubt that I'm gonna like this whatsoever, but just because of the bottom, I know I'm not gonna like it. Ooh, what is this? What is this? <gasps> Cotton Emporium, oh my. I have been waiting for over a year to get this kind of cardigan. Um, Ceramic button front cardigan, cardigan gray. Oh, I think this is a large too, but it, this might be fine. Here it is. I've been wanting a cardigan like this. Long sleeve, but very lightweight, not heavy. Does it have pockets? Yes, it has pockets in the front. Yes. This is exciting right there. So there's pockets. Here's the bottom. You can see it is, um, has the same, you know, has this nice slit up. And I'm trying to think what that bottom is called. Ribbing almost like bottom. There's a slit here, right there. Here's the back. Just plain, not real long. I love that there's pockets. Oh. I think I like this. No, you know, not a button closure, right? No buttons. Let me just double check that. No, no buttons. So it just will hang nicely. Oh, I'm excited to try that. So excited for that. The next item is another top, and this is from Kaylee. And this is the Samira Cross front knit top. Okay. And this is black. This is the that's not too bad. Short sleeves. The back is, you know, plain front. The, you know, the patterns are the same. The back is definitely longer than the front. And this might look cute with leggings. So you can see longer in the back. A little bit of a rounded hemline. Material's nice. It's um, light, but it has some, it's a little bit weighty. So that one might not be too bad. We'll see. And the next item looks like a pair of bottoms. I'm just trying to get rid of this paper. Get it off of here. Let's see what these are. These are mixed by 40, 41 Hawthorne. These are brandy button cuffed drawstring capri pants in blue. These are large. I have a feeling these are going to be too big. But these are kind of cute. Um, pocket detail over here. You know, has the look of a fly front, but it's not. And then these are your cuffed bottom and with a by a little button. I just can tell by the size of the leg there that these are going to be too big. I mean, I would be surprised if they're not. Oh, and there are pockets in the back. You can see right here pockets. I mean, these are lightweight. They're cute. I just don't know if, let me see. We have a working drawstring. So there is, I missed that totally. A little drawstring right there and that is a functioning drawstring it does we'll cinch them in i can see this see it pulling as we go so they're kind of cute because i could and it doesn't appear that you can roll them up any further there's no other button anywhere else so the roll up is where it is which might make them too long if, because these are not petites right I told them, you know, it really annoys me that they don't listen. That if you're going to send me capris, they have to be petites because these probably will be ankle pants. And that's not something I'm looking for in the summer, ankle pants. I have plenty of pants. I was looking for an actual capri and they look like they're going to be longer than that. So I'm excited for the top and the sweater. This top, I will try it on, but <clears throat> I know I'm not going to like it. And then the shoes, let's see what we have here for shoes. Okay, I'm just going to pull one out. We have a flat, and there's like the crisscross detail there. Um, these are like a, I don't know if these are like a micro suede, a micro fiber type shoe. These might be too flat. I don't know. There's a little, little heel there. You'll see. I don't know how I feel. Oops, just threw that right across the room. So let's pull this one. I am so sorry. That went like flying and lay, went right through my tripod. Um, so this is the front of the shoe. I mean, they're cute. I just don't know if I like them. I'll have to see them on my foot. I can never judge until they're on my feet. So I will get, be right back with the try on. 
Okay, I just read my stylist note. I still have Mandy because I do believe the location that my normal boxes come out of might still be closed. And that stylist, um, Rachel, she might still be out or vacation or not working because that location is closed. So I do have Mandy again. She styled my last box. I love her note. Um, she said she never watched a video of any of her fixes. And she said it was so nice to be able to do. Um, let me see. It. She said, I was so excited because I've never seen any of my fixes featured in a video before. I loved being able to see how everything looked on you. That is awesome. And I do think that these stylists, if we as creators let them know that we are showing our fixes on YouTube, they can watch them and see how things are fitting on us, what we like, what we don't like. Um, and, and then they know what we wind up keeping. And, you know, I tell you guys what I wind up keeping. So um, I think that is pretty awesome. So I, the rest of her note, I did read privately. I, like I said, I don't find it necessary to read my note. I don't like to read that ahead of time. I think it spoils it. This is definitely fix number 18. I think I told you guys that. So first I have these shoes on. These are Lucky Brand Emmy Leather Ballet Flat in taupe. Size six, because I did update my size because the six and a halfs were just way too big. Uh, $59, they're right here. Um, I just don't find them comfortable. Um, I don't think I, I, and I just don't, I don't have any flat flats. Usually my flats, I have like moccasins and I have other shoes, but they're not super flat. I just am not um, a huge fan of these at all, the shoes. Um, they fit fine. The next is the, uh, I guess these are the pants, right? Mixed by 40, 41 Hawthorne, I think are the pants. Yeah, because there's nothing else for it. Okay. So the pants mixed by 41 Hawthorne, the Brandy Button. I guess these are the Capri's Blue. These are a size large. They are $44. These are just, um, you know, too big. Um, even with the drawstring, they're just too big. Too much material just everywhere. Um, I, the back pockets, I'm not a huge fan of how they just you know, buckle out like that, and they're just not going to lay flat. Um, and then, then the length is, you cannot adjust the length, and they're just, they're more like ankle pants for me. They're not capris. Um, I would almost want to let them down and just be long pants and not, you know, not do that. They are very comfortable, um, nice and soft. I think they would be nice and breathable in the summer months when it's warm here. Um, so not my favorite. Um, this top, I'm on the fence. I, it fits fine at the shoulder. Sleeves are perfect. I don't mind the crisscross detail on this. I don't mind the, the pattern. Beautiful pink. It has a little bit of like olive in it. Um, some whites and I think it's cute. I mean, it's a little big, but it falls nicely so that it gives the appearance of not being too big. The length in the front would be okay. Maybe a little bit long, but with leggings, it would be cute. And then here it is in the back. I mean, I don't think it's clingy anywhere. I mean, it really is a cute top. So this one is the Samara cross front knit top in black. And this is $34. So this is not bad. So what I have left is this um, other top and the sweater. And she had mentioned that I was looking for, which I have been, a sweater to go over a dress. But I just didn't want a plain solid sweater. So she, when she found me this, I was like, oh no. And she's like, I know you've been looking for one. So I'm going to try this on um, maybe with that crazy top. I don't know. So I will be back and I will try this top on. Be back in just a moment. Okay. I have the top one, which I do not like. And this is Fortune and Ivy. Uh, Marciana Lattice Back light pink $36 um, the sleeves I almost don't mind um, they're still it's you know it's not for me the neckline here would be fine I just don't know like I guess being shorter if I were to pull this top down it's like too long and then to pull it up so that it's falling and hitting me in a place where I'm comfortable having it fall which would be up above my legs you know, then the, sh the ruching on the sides is sort of lost, and then it's like bloused over, right? Something like that. It's just the material does not feel good whatsoever. So here's the back. 
I don't know if my hair's in the way with the detail. I, there's just nothing that I like about this shirt. I don't like the feel of the material. The color is to me is not summery. If it was just all pink, different kind of top. I just don't like it at all. And I'm going to get the black dress that I wanted to see how this will be with. And I will try this on with the black dress. But um, I think these pants are a no. The shoes are a no. And this is a definite no. This black top is a maybe. So I'll try the cardigan on with the black dress. I'll be right back. Okay. So I quick put the t-shirt dress on that uh, she was referring to in my note that I was looking for a cardigan to wear over um, just in case. And I wanted something super lightweight, not a winter sweater, an actual spring summer sweater. This is beautiful. Um, the sleeves are slightly long. Um, I, I'm not sure if I like these cuffed or not. I could do it, but I think I would just leave them slightly long. I mean, you can see they're slightly long on my hand, but I think I could get away with it by just, you know, correcting it on my arm and have it just lay nicely. I love the way it lays in the front. Um, you know, I'm not going to close it, obviously. It's not that type of sweater. It just drapes nicely, hangs nicely. It's, you know, not shapeless. I love that there's pockets, and here's the back the cardigan cute I mean I don't have the proper undergarments on I'm in my casual t-shirt and uh, capris for um, the day um, I, I, I really do love this sweater and this one is this is the gray one this Samara button front cardigan gray and this is $46 and considering I haven't been able to find anything like I like that the sleeves are not real tight you know, if this would have been, you know, I mean, it could have been if it was a little bit tighter there, it would be better for me. But um, funny part is I can sew. I do have a sewing machine and I could slightly taper this in so that it does fit the way I like it. And then this would not be a problem, but I probably won't do that. I would just, like I said, I would just adjust it on my arm slightly different. And I don't, you know, if it's a little bit long on my hand, that would be okay too. Because I think, you know, you're not walking like this all the time your arms are up you're you know you're moving around but i think this would go with so much um for this time of year that we're coming into you know it's mid-may already um you know we had another we always have a frost we always have one real cold day with a frost right before mother's day so um that just had happened so of course you know i have all my warmer weather clothes ready to to wear and there is a little slit which i like right here so this would be perfect with leggings and, you know, just, you know, a pop of color shirt underneath or, you know, any of the colors. And I like that this is like the, like a gray blue and like a cream and off white background. And, um, I really do like this. I think this definitely is a keeper for me. I'm not sure about the black. Like I know the pants and this other shirt are no good. I'm not sure about the black. Um, top i do like that and the shoes are a definite no so rather than come back with final thoughts i forgot i would just do it right here so like i said this is a definite keep the cardigan i'm not sure about this black top i do like it you guys let me know what you thought of this top on me i think it would and i will try it on again with um, leggings i just all my dark leggings are um being dried right now that i was just doing laundry um, but I think this would be cute with jeans. I think it would be cute, you know, with leggings for sure, because it is long enough. I think it fit good. Um, tell me what you think. Should I keep it? Should I send it back? Um, but these are, this is a definite, the cardigan. And then this is the other possible that I'm keeping the shoes, the shirt, and the pants are definite nose. I don't like the fit of the pants. I don't like that shirt. And I'm not crazy about these shoes. Um, I would rather have, I think I would rather have more of a sandal or even like a little wedge or something like that. I might have to find them on my own. So this is a keeper, the cardigan, and then this is a strong possibility. Let me know what you think about this top. The other items are going back for sure. And this is fix number 18 for me. And I, like I said, I do have the style pass. So I don't have a $20 credit because I don't pay the $20 up front to get the box. But I still do have a $31 credit. So let me know what you think. Am I missing something by keeping the blue pants? You guys let me know. I trust your opinion. 
So rather than come back, sit down and go through everything, I figured I would do it, you know, with the last item of clothing on and just let you know what um, I'm leaning towards keeping and what I know I'm going to be sending back. So I hope you like this style um, a little bit better. It's a little bit easier for me. Um, but if you guys don't like it, then I'll go back to the other way. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me. So I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. And hopefully we're coming into some warmer weather where we can get outside. And if I have to stay on my own property, so be it. At least I can be outside where it's a little bit warmer. And as always, I hope to see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye now.